Currently, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are going to a televised court trial. Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation trial. As Johnny has sued Amber for defamation regarding her claims that he beat her. This all started in 2016 when Amber Heard called the police, claiming that Johnny had physically abused her. This was after Johnny's finger had been cut off, and it wasn't the last time she made a claim of abuse by Johnny. Let's dive in and find out the truth. Did Johnny Depp abuse Amber Heard? What started out as an onset romance for Amber Heard and Johnny Depp has ended up as anything but. Johnny and Amber met while filming The Rum Diaries, but as April of 2022, the defamation trial against Heard has commenced, and the two are currently in court. The payout for Depp if he wins the court case will be $50 million for damages caused by a malicious 2018 Washington Post article Amber Heard wrote, as well as other rumors Amber Heard has spread, which have cost Depp movie roles. And this was not the first court case Johnny has started. Johnny has been in a string of costly defamation and libel cases regarding articles published by The Sun British Tabloid in 2018, The Washington Post in 2019, and a lawsuit against The Sun in 2020. But being the caring and selfless man he is, Johnny's main concern was that the kids at school taunted his son for having a wife beater as a father. Amber spread many lies about Johnny being the abuser during their marriage, when in fact, Amber was abusing Johnny. They were married from 2015 to 2016, with the marriage ending as a result of Heard's abusive behavior towards Depp. Then, she called the police, claiming that Depp had beaten her. In one of this year's deposition hearings, the officer who responded to Amber's call testified that Amber did not seem to be injured or in danger. Everything that Amber claimed against Johnny showed that she was trying to cash in on the hashtag MeToo rhetoric. For instance, in her Washington Post op-ed piece, Amber Heard claimed that she was a survivor of domestic abuse. Because of the abuse allegations, Johnny Depp lost his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Depp had started his contract with Disney to star in the Pirates of the Caribbean because he had wanted his children to be able to watch a movie of his. It was an iconic role, which Johnny uses for good. He gets in costume and visits sick children in hospital. It is so heartwarming to see those kids meet such an iconic character in person. And it shows Johnny's generous and unpretentious spirit. Johnny was never interested in fame because it has always come to him. He has the perfect combination of good looks, charm, and skill. But most importantly, he has a kind soul. On the other hand, Heard is cold and calculating. Her relationships with men always benefit her, whether it be financial or career benefits. After Amber called the police on Johnny in 2016, she divorced him, citing irreconcilable differences. In fact, Amber Heard had benefited from being with Johnny Depp because while she was with him, she had scored a leading role alongside Jason Momoa on the set of Aquaman. When Amber was married to Johnny, she made it clear to him that she cared more about her career than him. According to Depp, she flipped off doing something important together in order to go to a work meeting instead. Understandably upset, Johnny sent her a text message asking why she had broken their promise to each other. Later, in the depositions, Hurt's lawyers tried to convince the jury that the tone of his message was aggressive, when in reality, it was a tone of disappointment. The depositions and recordings are very telling about the opposing communication styles of the ex-couple. While Amber Heard herself easily flies into fits of rage, Johnny's communication style has been consistently polite, considerate, and measured. In court, Johnny's mannerisms, speech style, and body language, he is careful in his movements. He rarely says things in haste or makes sudden movements. He often stares down to the side when he is trying to recall a memory, which could mean that he is lying about something. But given that he has to be careful about what he is saying, it could also mean he is carefully choosing the words he will use. Johnny Depp is a good performer, and he wants the audience to relate to his experience. Amber Heard, on the other hand, has very little expression. Johnny's reputation and career were not the only things that Johnny Depp lost as a result of his marriage with Amber Heard. While married to Amber in 2015-2016, Depp's performance in the fifth Pirates movie was suffering. He gave us a cryptic but very telling comment at a media conference. I'm scared and I want to go home. At the time, we brushed that off as something quirky Johnny Depp would say. 
But the truth is that in 2015 to 2016, Johnny Depp was in an abusive relationship with Amber Heard. There has been little proof of Depp being violent towards Amber, but many instances which Amber has yelled at him, physically attacked him, and even thrown glass at him, including a large vodka bottle which sliced off the tip of one of his fingers. The bone in the finger was crushed by the force of the heavy object and had to be surgically attached, leaving a scar that will stay with Johnny for the rest of his life. She threw the bottle and it made contact and shattered everywhere. I honestly didn't feel the pain at first at all. I felt heat and I felt something were dripping down my hand. And then I looked down and realized the tip of my finger had been severed and I was looking at my bone sticking out and blood was just pouring out, Johnny said in a deposition. In their final week together, Johnny had enough of Amber because she was not helping him from getting sober from a drug addiction. The incident with losing his finger was the last straw. Speaking of getting Elon Musk to bail her out of financial hardship, Amber Heard must be low on cash because she employed the worst lawyer money can buy. Johnny had hired forensic psychologist Shannon Curry to evaluate Amber's psychological health. And when the lawyer was questioning Curry, she asked about completely stupid questions like what sort of makeup her client wore and whether she used it to cover up injuries from domestic abuse. Heard had made allegations of abuse and released a photo but as police Tyler Haddon testified in court, just because I see a female with pink cheeks and pink eyes doesn't mean something happened. In one of this year's depositions, Amber Heard and her defense attorney went on the attack against Johnny and his legal team, clutching straws to try and find anything they could to get them in trouble. She grilled Shannon Curry, criticizing her on everything from the details of the hiring process she had underwent at Depp's home to details about when she saw Amber Heard in person and brought muffins that her husband had picked up for her. The lawyer first claimed that food served at the job interview was dinner and drinks with Johnny, and then that she had told her husband all about her client, Amber Heard, because he had dropped off some muffins. She then made blanket statements about how women are often the victims of domestic violence, to which Curry responded astutely. Women are more likely to make false claims of domestic violence, as Amber Heard has clearly done, and now Depp is suing her for defamation. But all of this posturing will be in vain, because Amber has been recorded admitting that she abused Johnny. I did not punch you, I hit you, said Amber to Johnny in a recording in a deposition. I did start a physical fight. She also called Depp a coward and a baby who needs to grow up. Yet it seems that Amber was being the immature one because she was constantly fighting with Johnny and crying, reacting violently when she didn't get her way, and gaslighting Depp. We can see evidence of her immaturity and gaslighting not only from recordings of conversations between her and ex-husband Depp, but from accounts given by Ben King, who was hired by Johnny and Amber in 2016 as a house manager and personal manager. He described Amber as being immature, rude, and prone to fits of crying and rage. Yet Amber did not seem to suffer from the consequences of her actions. While Amber still works for Disney, Johnny was fired from Pirates of the Caribbean and Fantastic Beasts franchises. We can see now that far from being good for Depp, Amber Heard has damaged Depp's career and mental health and is now doing her best to try and destroy his reputation as well. The fact of the matter is that prior to Amber Heard's accusations, former girlfriends and partners have never accused Johnny of abuse. According to Johnny's lawyer, Camille Vasquez, in Mr. Depp's 58 years, not a single woman has ever accused him of violence, and nobody in Hollywood or the world had any reason to believe that he was an abuser until Ms. Heard publicly accused him. According to Rolling Stone, Amber Heard has only garnered attention because of the series of erroneous claims that included keywords like sexual violence and has engendered the sympathy of those intending to fight for gender equality. There is now a petition for DC Warner Brothers to fire Amber Heard from her role in the latest Aquaman sequel. Recently, Jason Momoa showed his support for Depp by following him on social media. It is said that Heard almost lost her role anyway due to the lack of chemistry between her and Jason. You can tell during interviews that Jason is uncomfortable around Amber, and it has been said that the co-stars do not get along. Make a comment if you also think Johnny is innocent. Would you sign the petition to cut Amber out of the latest Aquaman? Hashtag justice for Johnny.